Mr. Jeff Latham, he's a Delta State alumnus, is an artist and art instructor at Cahoma Community College and Cahoma Early College High School in Clarksdale, Mississippi. He began teaching in 2004 and has covered a variety of subjects for students from pre-K to college. Experimentation and visual truth are hallmarks in his creation. First of all, let's say it's a pleasure to be here today. Um, I'm going to share with you uh, a little bit about some things that um, I've done uh, teaching visual arts to high school students uh, here in the Mississippi Delta. Uh, the Blues seems to be um, very much on the radar of people my age and, and, and older, uh, but for younger generations, even the, uh, the, the kids that I've taught who grew up in Clarksdale, um, you know, where you know, the blues tourism is sort of one of their major, um, you know, major trades is, uh, it's, it's something that's almost foreign to them. You know, they see it as they go downtown, uh, but they haven't experienced the music, they haven't experienced the art form uh, growing up. <clears throat> so, let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, this is a unit of study. I promise I'm not going to read the whole PowerPoint to you. <laughs> but uh, I do want to go ahead and go over this. This is a unit of study where students explore the Mississippi Delta Blues, its origins, its cultural significance, local historical impact, and demonstrate their understanding and emotional perspectives uh, of the genre through the creation of an original work of visual art with the blues as its central theme. Um, so the boring part of this uh, is the standards uh, to which this unit applies, uh, how each of the standards is addressed. Um, I'm not going to go through all this because uh, this is boring, and if you want to, to download the PowerPoint and read it for yourself, uh, there's a link at the end, and I will be happy to share that with you. Uh, but just to show that this unit of study corresponds to standards uh, for visual arts education, uh, for K-12 students, specifically students in Art 2 at the high school level. <clears throat> um, the objectives are designed uh, to sort of demonstrate, you know, what the students are going to learn, uh, the skills that they will achieve through going through the units, through studying the material, and through creating the work of art. Uh, various competencies, uh, comparing and contrasting. Uh, one of the things that we had them, one of the things that I had them do, uh, and I'll talk about more when we get to the section on essential questions, is comparing music and visual art. Um, <clears throat> you know, how, like, uh, how writing a blues song might be similar or different to um, composing uh, a visual representation. Uh, based on the blues, a, a work of visual art. Uh, one of the things we talked about in the unit of study is context. Um, how is this place, this time, uh, affected or impacted by the blues? Um, how is your art affected by where you are, who you are, uh, the cultural you know, tradition you come from, the geographical region that you live in? Uh, because, you know, artists, musicians, people that create, they are not islands. They are products of their environment. They are products of their upbringing. Um, you know, you can, uh, as they say, take the boy out of the country, but you can't necessarily take the country out of the boy. Um, so, more competencies. Pre-assessment, uh, those results. So, we did some things before we started talking about the blues, before we started making art, and that was to gauge students' familiarity with the blues as a musical form, and to gauge their skill levels as an artist. Um, to tell you a little bit about the um, sort of contextual factors of the students I was teaching, uh, most of the students are, um, 
Uh, most of the students come from low income and below uh, families. Um, they are dealing with issues of um, community violence, uh, dealing with issues of crime, with relatives, uh, dealing with you know, a certain amount of poverty. And they can bring that with them. You know, uh, one of the popular things to say in education is uh, they're, not, uh, they're not keeping the good kids at home. You know, so you have to sort of meet students where they are. Uh, you know, if students are unfamiliar with the subject matter, if they're unfamiliar with the type of medium, you know, it's your job as the educator to meet them where their skill level is, even if it's zero, you know, and help them to build a foundation. Uh, most of the students that I taught uh, had not really had much exposure to visual arts uh, in the classroom until they came to my class in high school. Um, my Art One class, I spent a lot of time teaching students uh, the basic vocabulary of visual arts, as well as basic uh, drawing skills and things like that. <clears throat> so um, for the pre-assessments, you know, we sort of learned, uh, most of the learners seemed comfortable with using uh, pencil, color pencil, um, oil pastels, and acrylic paint. These students were in Art two, which means they've already had uh, either prior art experience or have completed uh, Middle Arts High School 1, mostly with me. Um, introduction to the Mississippi Delta Blues. So I used a YouTube video, it's been around for a long time, it was produced as a series of videos called Great Museums. It is about the, um, the Blues Museum in Clarksdale, Mississippi. Uh, I'm going to show just a minute or two of it. Uh, I'm not going to show the full clip today uh, for the sake of time. But <clears throat> I do want you to sort of see, you know, that this is actually edited down. The full video itself is about an hour. This is a five minute clip, and I'm only going to show you sort of the introduction. America is a land of great museums, and every museum has spellbinding stories to tell. Well, I tell people, I said, you come to Clarksdale, you can just feel the blues coming up out of the ground. So this becomes for them a mecca. They want to come here and see the original place, to hear the original music. The blues lives on at the Delta Blues Museum in Clarksdale, Mississippi. Next on Great Museums. I allowed the students to see some documentary footage. Uh, and... My favorite part about this unit, and I've done this unit for several years, uh, and did it for several years before actually developing uh, the paper that I published about the unit, was it gave me uh, the opportunity and the license to play the blues in the classroom. Um, <clears throat> it's something that students who you know, knew about the class would look forward to, uh, because after we had sort of spent the first half of the year uh, learning about drawing and doing some art history and doing a few projects. Then uh, we did this unit in the spring to coincide with uh, the Juke Joint Festival, which is held annually in Clarkston. Uh, the Juke Joint Festival has, as part of its um, uh, as part of its festival, a student art competition. Uh, they accept artwork from students in the area, from various schools, uh, all the way from kindergarten to college. As a matter of fact, uh, our students at Cahoma Community College regularly participate um, <clears throat> in, the, uh, in the student art competition. As, uh, as we learned about the blues and the history of the blues, then I wanted the students to sort of engage in a deeper understanding, to, to reflect on what they had learned already about visual art, as well as what they were now learning about the blues through learning its history and through experience it firsthand in the classroom. And so I developed a series of questions. Now, most units of study uh, may have five to 10 essential questions. I have 20, I realize that's a lot. But this unit is a, an extended unit of study. <laughs> and so, um, what I want them to do is to really sort of scratch below the surface. Think about the imagery uh, associated with the blues. Think about the imagery, you know, that the topics that the blues covers brings up in their mind. 
And um, so we had them, uh, I had them uh, read the questions, think about them, write verbal, or, or I'm sorry, write written responses to them, discuss them together. Uh, other examples here, how might we analyze a blues song in a similar way to analyzing a work of art. Um, <clears throat> to me, art is uh, it's not something that I present in my classroom as an inborn talent or something that you are divinely gifted to do. Um, art, just like any other subject, is based around a set of skills and careful study and application of those skills and practice. Uh, one of the things I like to coin uh, in my classroom is that if you can hold a pencil and see, I can teach you to draw. Um, and because one of the most challenging things about teaching digital arts is getting students who have never studied it before to sort of overcome their, um, their hesitation, to overcome their own self-doubt. <clears throat> and so these guided questions are there to help them sort of consider things on a deeper level so that when they begin to design their work of art, they're not just sort of cherry picking symbols. Because if I just said, sit down and you know, draw a picture about the blues, uh, a guitar, some music notes, um, local things around Clarksdale associated with the blues, would be easy pickings. Um, and because of that, they're going to be less original. They're going to be less from the heart of the art. So, more essential questions. Uh, this is a short uh, video segment uh, that I shot in preparation as students are working. Um, My name is Jeff Latham. I'm the visual arts instructor at Home Agricultural High School in Clarksdale, Mississippi. These students are in Art 2. They are currently uh, working on free projects, projects that they uh, develop a theme for themselves and work on uh, imagery without any form of uh, visual model, either still life model or image to copy from. All these things are drawn out of their head, so to speak. My name is Ashley Craig. I'm a tool grader and name my king is using the jungle. My name is Jesse Lucas. I'm a tool and the name of my thing is. My name is Oshana Gita. I'm a ninth grader. The name of my theme is um, Louisiana Park. Okay. Yeah. Like, no, you can eat it with your cow. See it, the papers. So, um, here you can see uh, once the students have sort of engaged with the essential questions, then they're going to create a draft uh, or basically plan a sketch, a design, to work from. Uh, you know, this is so that we're not wasting media by taking, you know, an art project that uses paint or, or something that's, you know, a consumable that's a little more expensive and balling it up and throwing it away and trying nine different times. So, you know, coming up with a plan to work from is how we proceed. This is uh, Ashley Craig's plan. Um, so, you know, I wanted them to develop a narrative. I wanted them to experience... Uh, experimenting with design, uh, how they're going to lay it out, how they fill the space, uh, choosing color for different parts of their image. <clears throat> and so now, um, after consulting the students on their individual design concepts and assisting in negotiation, uh, negotiating uh, visual and technical challenges, the students are given materials and time to create an original Mississippi Delta Blues themed project. So, uh, Shantira Dukes, uh, this is her piece. Uh, this is oil pastel, uh, which has been dissolved on the paper using paint thinner and brushes. It's applied dry, and then uh, applications of paint thinner are added to the dry media to move it around, liquefy it, and then let it redry on the paper. Uh, this is Oshana Jeter's, um, showing sort of the hole in the guitar as the lens into uh, Clarksdale, the blues community, uh, trying to illustrate the uh, crossroads there. Um, you know, these uh, are the sort of two blue cross guitars uh, in Clarksdale, the intersection of old Highway 61 and 49, sort of looking into the instrument and seeing you know, the deeper context within. Okay. 
Um, <clears throat> this is another um, uh, Archimetrius Bruce. Uh, this is graphite, uh, just pencil. Uh, but you can see how the uh, sort of <laughs> thoughts and emotions are leaking out of the head of the uh, character with the guitar, uh, and how the you know the very land is being uh, brought up into the microphone stand as part of the music, as if the music itself is growing out of the very soil of the delta. <clears throat> this is Ashley Craig's final project. Um, you know, the sort of wall in between there and sort of a Pyramus and Thisbe uh, type reflection of uh, the woman and her love uh, forbidden uh, and held in place by a wall with the music itself. Uh, epitomized by the anthropomorphized microphone uh, person. <clears throat> so, uh, this unit uh, was also adapted to use with ART 1. Uh, so, some of the um, questions were watered down, some of the pre assessment items were simplified uh, because the ART 2 class you know, is a class of, say, five students, whereas ART 1 would be four or five classes of 20 students. Uh, so for the sake of simplicity and time, uh, some of the objectives were condensed, but as you'll see in the upcoming slides, we're going to look at uh, projects from Art 1 and Art 2 throughout the years. Uh, this one, for example, won second place at the Duke Joint Festival, um, <clears throat> Roadside Throwdown, Color Pencil, uh, Cordarius Jones, uh, work of a senior, uh, fantastic artwork. Um, this was from a student in Art 1. Um, you, know, you can see sort of where the lines transfer and where you can see through images as if the music itself is sort of a ghostly form presented in front of the musician playing. Um, this one, uh, sort of a music train, a harmonica uh, that has been turned into a train expelling musical notes and symbols through its smokestack as it travels through cotton fields in the Mississippi Delta. Uh, this one um, was a strong contender, and I really you know, I was pleased with the layout and design um, using uh, the side of the guitar to sort of represent the Mississippi River uh, from the, uh, you know, the tuning head all the way down to the body of the instrument uh, using the current license plate of the time uh, you know, to sort of you know, show its connection, Highway 6149. Um, this was from Art 1. The image is simple, but still very poignant. Uh, an illustration uh, using linear perspective, overlapping, high-low placement, and uh, it's, to a certain extent, aerial perspective to illustrate uh, the illusion of depth. Uh, this was also um, mixed media using um, graphite, using uh, marker and a combination of uh, acrylic paint and oil pastels. <clears throat> uh, the Flower of the Blues. Uh, this was another project from Art One. You know, this was a student who had only been studying visual arts uh, since they began my class uh, you know, for, in August, and this would have been created in sort of March uh, of that year. Uh, so, you know, it's easy to see how, you know, good instruction, good practice can really lead to the development of skills, even from a basis of no experience whatsoever. Uh, this was another piece uh, that we entered into the Duke Joint Festival. Uh, I believe this got third place that year. Uh, I don't have the ribbon uh, in the photo, but um, this was a student who was also gifted uh, with uh, the application of colored pencil. Uh, and you can see familiar icons there, the cross guitars in 6149, Delta Avenue. Um, this was a student from Art One. Um, this girl enjoyed the class, but did not like making artwork. Uh, but still, uh, you know, made an impressive piece, uh, you know, with, uh, I think, meaning that she probably didn't even uh, think of. Uh, you know, or at least plan to ascribe in completing this work. Uh, you can see these others. This is available for download, by the way. Uh, this piece right here was a really powerful piece that a student did. Uh, you may not be able to see it, but the title of this piece is The True Mississippi Flag. 
uh, where you have an African American in place of the Confederate battle emblem. Uh, you can see them crying. Uh, you can see uh, you know blood dripping from their face. This is made of both uh, marker paint and uh, cut out foam. Uh, and so that's the unit. And basically what we learned was how to you know, take an idea and turn it into an image, uh, something that students can share. This is a list of how uh, this, this unit uh, also coincides with English, mathematics, and general music. Uh, thank you very much for your time. That's all I have. And uh, I appreciate it. Thank you.